Hello everyone and welcome to the another video on OpenLC series. In the previous video, I told you how to create a process and how to run a process in OpenLC and how the result looks like and how we can choose a correct impact assistant method according to the goal that we have made. In this video, I will be telling you how to resolve an error that most of the people face when they work on OpenLC. So let's start with the opening the database in OpenLCA. As you can see here, the data is already updated. What I will do, I will just click here and now you can see that the database is opened. You can see the folder that I have created named as emission and I will open the data set. You can see that uh, the processing that I have created and everything is as it is as the previous video. But the problem is what happens, for example, I have to delete this database so I can just click here, delete and it will show me this error that the selected element cannot be deleted because it is used in other data sets. See the usage view to see where it is used. So this is the common error that everyone face when they try to delete a process that they have created in OpenLC. So what is the reason behind it? So the reason behind it that this process has already used somewhere and it is now updated in the database so we can't delete. But there is one option that we can use to delete this data set. Let's see how we can. For deleting the data set that we have created, all we need to do is we need to open the product system. As you can see, this product system for soy milk has already created here. I will open it, I can see the product system that I have created last time. I can open the model graph that will tell me how it is connected with their previous provider. So why it is not allowing you to delete? It is not allowing you to delete because it is already connected with the product system. So for deleting the data set that I have created here, first I need to delete this product system from my database. Now you can see I have deleted the product system that I have created earlier. So now let's try to delete the data set that I have created and see if would I still be facing the same error or not. For deleting the database, all I need to do is just click here and now once I will click on yes, you can see that that process that I have created is now deleted successfully. So this is the common error that most of the people face when they work on OpenLC. So how this is how you can tackle that error. If you have any question regarding OpenLC, how to run a process, and if you are facing any error while installing or creating a data set or creating a process in OpenLC, please do let me know in the comment section so I can take your questions or either I will make another video on that so you can easily get the answers. I hope this video was useful and please like and subscribe this channel and I'll see you in the next video.